I think I found a diamond in the rough. You've heard the old story, one man's junk is another man's treasure. Well, that's what it looks like is junk, but to me, it looks like a treasure, a diamond in the rough. So let me kind of explain a little bit what I'm talking about. Um, I have a friend out here in West Texas that had a lot of old, old equipment. Uh, he's been doing lapidary work and faceting for years. And he's acquired all this old equipment. I have uh, lapidary sanders, saws. Um, that's an 18 inch saw right there. As you can see, it's pretty old and it's gonna take some work in order to uh, get things back into shape. But, you know, those saws, an 18 inch saw by itself can run you uh, anywhere from four to $6,000. Um, there's a 14 inch saw that I also got. That one is in working condition. And then I also got uh, some faceting machines. As you can see there, they're in pretty rough condition. Now I'm not looking to use them as faceting machines, but I'm going to use them as uh, small little sanding discs. Um, so I'll have to kind of rework things in order to get them up and going. That way I can use them for when I teach classes and the students will have sanding uh, units to sand on. And then also we've got those saws so that they can learn how to block in the rocks and be able to slab uh, a slice off of uh, that. And so I'm really looking forward to uh, getting this stuff up and going. Uh, along with that, I have gotten, acquired a lot of rock. So um, I have some jasper, I have some agate, as you can see, I've got rhyolite, a um, couple different kinds of rhyolite, bird's eye, poppy seed, um, and then agates. I've got all kinds of agates in there. I've got Brazilian agates. I've got uh, some red flame agate. I got round agates that came out of Mexico. I got two different sizes. And I have also there we got Mexican Mexican lace agate so there are the bigger agates right there no geodes I don't think so uh, I think these are all solid and there's the smaller ones right there that I acquired so along with all those leaves I've got to clean that out and, but once I get my saws up and then I get an attachment that I can put on my saw so that I can cut open those agates. That'll be really uh, neat so that we can see what's inside. There's some uh, plain agate right there. Uh, that is some really cool stuff. Uh, I have uh, some jewelry that uh, I've already uh, cut pieces out and polished it up and set it in sterling silver. I believe that's some of the uh, Mexican lace agate right there. So, yeah. so I'm looking to uh, open up shop um, both uh, physically and online in order to uh, sell some of this and you know keep it going and then continue to uh, purchase more uh, rock and have more available. Here's a piece um, where there's a peridot growing on the outside of that rock peridot crystals and so uh, there's some pretty big pieces in there too um, of the peridot so that was really neat and there's a uh, jasper so, um, it's really I'm excited to get in and do it and I just feel blessed that um, I had uh, this connection to uh, be able to acquire this and get it going. So it's going to take a while. Here's some more pictures of uh, the rocks and equipment. I put together a slideshow of some of the rocks up close 
so that uh, you'll be able to see some of the small pieces and what uh, some of these agates and jaspers are going to be looking like. Uh, I did wet the rocks up so that uh, you'll be able to see the colors and that. So we'll be working on trying to put, uh, like I said, put uh, a website together and start selling some of these online and be looking in my future videos and we'll uh, have a post a link for that once we get everything put together and that along with uh, some of the uh, silversmith work and jewelry pendants cabochons rings that uh, I'm creating I'll have that on the website also but you can see there's a lot of different colors patterns on these rocks oh it's like um, that's I got a big bucket full of Chris Cola in that um, looks like maybe a little bit Azurite is in there also so I'm looking forward to really working those pieces and getting those in and making some jewelry out of that I hope you enjoyed this, so I'll just kind of leave it as is right now, and enjoy watching, and if you haven't subscribed, I hope that uh, you find this intriguing and um, want to go ahead and subscribe, future videos on my channel, also you'll be able to see the outcome as time goes on, on the equipment, on how I went ahead and reworked the, the equipment and got it up and going so that we can use it in classes here out in West Texas. And that, again, thank you and please uh, hit the thumbs up and like, subscribe and please comment. Uh, I, I appreciate it. Whether you like it or you don't like it, it doesn't matter. Um, go ahead and uh, of course I want you to like it but uh, if you don't Hey, give me a comment, and sometimes uh, they're helpful, and I can, um, you know, work and make better videos for you guys uh, from tips or comments that you guys leave. Again, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed it.